Thomaston Place Auction Galleries is pleased to present Art of Japan, Woodblocks o Kimono and Netsuke on Friday, May 20th at 10 a.m. Japanese woodblock prints from one of the most secluded cultures in the world and a people who enjoyed strict traditional social structure came the ukiyo-e, or floating world, woodblocks printed beginning about 1650 and inspired by imported Chinese calendar prints. They were dedicated to the beauty of everyday life and were the first mass-produced art for the public. These artists created a way of seeing that lasted for all of the Edo period, 250 years until the arrival of Commodore Perry, who opened up the shogunate-ruled world to the West in 1853. Prints were created under rules of size dictated by architectural panels and homes. The Oban is most common at 9.5 inch by 14.5 inch, printed on mulberry paper with a cherry block carved for each color. The printers used a tashiri method, hand rubbing with a burn. No mechanical press was involved. The chief subject categories were refined landscapes, fukeja e, famous places, meisho, beautiful women, baijin ga e, kabuki actors or heroes, jakusha e, birds and flowers, kacho e. There were hundreds of subsets. Each studio had four standard personnel the artist who drew the block, the carver who carved it, the printer who inked it, and the publisher who sold the print. The prints were sold from storefronts on one street in Edo, now Tokyo, by the publisher who was legally accountable to the government for adhering to the laws limiting content. Many of these original blocks were destroyed during the Great Kanto earthquake and fire of 1923. Western cultures, beginning with early French Impressionists, were heavily influenced by composition, palette, and manipulation of field. The Japanese broke with their own traditions during the 20th century Shinhanga movement, the look becoming more abstract and bold and generally created by the artist alone with no separate carver or printer. The prints are lotted chronologically, beginning with lot 4000 of our sale, a fine example from the artist most considered the master of the ukiyo-e, Utagawa Hiroshige recording a historical sword fight between four brothers and printed circa 1845, near the end of the Edo period. Lots 4001 through 4003 are three early examples of the same image, circa 1764 to 1772, by Suzuki Haranobu, showing variations in color. Lot 4008, Two Pheasants by a Stream, by Kaishi Masayoshi, is a 1790 sheet after a Chinese artist, part of a book, with careful notation of all involved in the creation, including censor marks from China and Japan. Lot 4011 is a book leaf portrait of a unicorn from the Chinese original by Sukioka Sitai, 1771, and is a good example of the exchange between the two countries. Lots 4014 through 4028 are beautiful women Baijin by Utamaro Kitagawa, Toshu Asai, Saraku, Kuniyoshi, and Toyokuni. Lot 4026 through 4053 are Toyokuni 2 and 3, Utagawa Kunisada, some diptych and triptych. Utagawa Kunisada was probably the most popular and influential printmaker of his generation, followed closely by Hiroshige. But Kunisada did socially important imagery and introduced the use of the diptych and triptych to make a more dramatic statement. Theatrical technique, very violent imagery, the use of family histories, regional histories, and exhibition of traditional weaponry and fighting techniques. All of these things came from Kunisada. He was the third of the Toyokuni triumvirate, and many think the greatest of his age. Lots 4054 through 4076, Utagawa Hiroshige, was the most prolific of all, basically creating travelogues, 100 views on the road to Edo, a 300-mile trip that took three weeks. Every single stop on it that involved an important architectural place or a traditional traveler's respite, he created a way to go in a line map with a visual book, a book of prints that took you from the far end of Japan to what's now Tokyo. Hot on the heels of that tradition and the populist favorite that Hiroshige was, the young Keisai Aizen fought against censorship bans with his traditional shunga, erotic pictures or spring prints. 
some of which were offensive to the ruling elite, but were very popular, as you might expect, with the public. These were made in small sizes, sometimes bound, so you essentially would have like a flip book to make the figures move. The shunga had been around for 300 years, but it was Eisen's achievement to make them essentially above board, part of culture. Lots 4089 through 4093 are Sukioka Yashitoshi. There are five generations of Yashitoshi. This Taiso Yashitoshi essentially was the resurrectionist of the late Meiji period. He brought back traditional forms, but he juiced them up a little bit. They became closer to what was taking place in Western culture with a simplification, abstraction of form, a punch to the color, a way of assembling an image so that it could be viewed in different ways through the lighting and the setting and the surround. Lots 4104 through 4110, Mejita Toshihise, was like the popular magazine of the time. <laughs> he did imagery of the stars. Megita Toshihise was like Entertainment Weekly, whereas Hiroshige was National Geographic, and Aizen was Life Magazine. He showed things with a grit that didn't exist much before him, so war correspondent. It all led up to the Lot 4111-4116, the Japanese-Russo War of 1905, where things were shown in brutal reality. Heroes were made, villains were cast, it was very exciting pictorially. It was sold by the piece. They were triptychs, so three-piece prints, sold by the piece each week so that you had to wait to complete the image. Like Sherlock Holmes and Strand Magazine, they kept on coming back to buy the next edition. The Shinhanga, or New Prince, and the Shinhanga is the thing that's most approachable to the modern eye. Lots 4124 through 4127. You have artists like Hiroshi Yoshida, who was the master of this form. There was a commonality to the subject, and there was an approachability to the work of Yoshida that made him very popular. His cohort, Ohara Kosan, lots 4128 through 4133. Kawasi Husui, Lots 4134-4139. The later Shinhanga artists in the interwar years were led by Toshi Yoshida, one of the three Yoshida artists that stretched across those generations. Sushaya Klatsu, Shiro Kasamatsu, and Lots 4147-4151, Kayoshi Nagai, Tamashiki Chiro, Tayukuriki, and Kawano Kaoru. Printmaking is still a popular medium in Japan. It would be unrecognizable to the original Yukioe printmakers, but has influenced the way that cultures all around the world depict things, the way they see things, and has opened up a trade of imagery that is rich to this day. Besides prints, we have several lots, 18 lots, of drawings and paintings, lot 4170 through 4187. We have 11 scrolls, some with Chinese presentation and tradition, and we have three folding screens, tabletop. Lots 4209 through 4343 are the Netsuke, Okimono, and Enro collection. Kimono do not have pockets, just a waist sash known as an obi. Necessaries are carried in an Enro, each different in composition and decoration. Nearly all of these are suspended from the belt by cords that have figurative Netsuke at the top. They act as a toggle and the ojim that tightens the Enro cords. These are often signed. They have classification and many are humorous. The man's smoking version with his attendant pipe is called a tonkatsu. Okimono are cabinet display figures, often incredibly detailed and sometimes with multiple figures, usually signed. These became popular gifts in the Meiji era. Thompson Place is glad to present this collection to you. It's unusual to have a collection of this quality and scale up here in Midcoast, Maine, even though a lot of it came into the country along the coast. We're going up Friday, May 20th at 10 a.m., The Art of Japan, Woodblocks, Okimono, and Netsuke.